All right, I guess we can talk about the Battle of the Sun, Sun Wukongs or whatever. So, we're going to have Jin from God of High School, Goku, and, you know, of course, the original Sun Wukong. So, we're going to start with Jin. Jin can easily do shit that's like solar system, planet level, easy. He has pressure points, and he has shadow clones, basically shadow clones. Some of his clones be just as strong as him. Some of them are weaker or whatever the fuck. But dead ass honest, like Goku's like universal to multiversal. Not multiversal as in infinite universes, but multiversal as in he can destroy multiple universes. Like for instance, Goku is universal in base. Uh, in Battle of Gods, Goku was able to fight with Beerus and send shockwaves that was going to destroy the not only the universe but the microcosm within the universe like the hyperbolic time chamber and the realm of heaven and hell and all that and those scale to earth or above earth directly and so that automatically makes at least Goku half universal and then in that fight he gets stronger so he becomes universal or like damn near universal then you gotta add on all the training and that kale can and all the hacks and all that bullshit and then you put god key in his base and goku became like a real threat he gets all those forms the god form then he ma he pretty much masters that and then gets blue goes super saiyan on top of the god form which is 50 times that and then he gets oh i you are goku and that's basically fucking uh, astronomical boost, but they only last for like a couple minutes. But if you find somebody that's slower than you, those couple minutes is like eternity. And then you go to a nigga like Sun Wukong, and this man straight up just jumps outside of the universe dash multiverse. And was like, oh yeah, I'm at the top of the universe with the pillars and Buddha. Like, nah, bro, that's my hand, get fucked. He had a giant ass magic mountain sealed on him. Like Sun Wukong, his speed is irrelevant. Like he's ba he basically became I'd say one with the universe slash multiverse or omniverse, however you want to scale their verse. But he became one with him, became omnipresent and like throughout all the higher dimensions and shit like that, scaled up, like really fucking high. He never I don't think he ever became high as Buddha in the verse, but like He's casually fucking outerversal to hyperversal plus. Like, if y'all want to look up these feats, I'm going to have, like, d descriptions. Like, in the descriptions, I'm going to have fucking battle versus Wicca and stuff of the original uh, religion or whatever the hell. But Sun Wukong easily smacks all of his competitors. Like, he just is a character that's outside of fucking fiction. That man is powerful. Like... In his story, he can be beat, but that's only because there's other characters that are so much stronger than him. Like, but the multiversal bullshit Goku is doing, like, Sun Wukong can do that shit casually, and he can do the actual infinite multiversal, like, fucking thing, and not just a, a finite set of, like, maybe a hundred to a thousand, or maybe a billion universe or whatever. Nah, he destroys an infinite amount of all that bullshit. He scales very high and has a resistance to pretty much almost any hack that you can think of. Like, this man cannot die. He's basically written out of fucking death or heaven and hell or whatever the bullshit you want to call it. Like, this man straight up is a legend. Like, Sun Wukong, the reason he has so many aspirations is because he's so powerful. And I'd give it to him 100 times out of 5.